So in today's video, we're gonna show you how to convert high voltage into low voltage using this bad boy right here. Let's do this. That was terrible. Cut. What? What do you mean? Okay, so the story goes like this. I had a call from a client asking for my help. They've got a S-Plan system and they've had a new boiler fitted. So they've had a new boiler in the kitchen fitted and they've got an S-Plan system. So they've got two motorized valves and they've got a hot water cylinder. This is located in the loft, but their boiler is located downstairs in the kitchen. So they've got existing wiring to wire in the new boiler. The only problem is on this particular boiler is it's low voltage. So there's only four cables that go to the boiler from upstairs, so existing cables, and that is a switch live to turn the boiler on and then live neutral earth. You need five cables because you need to link the low voltage. So it needs to go back upstairs all the way to the wiring center and then come all the way back down again to tell the boiler to turn on. Problem is there's only four cables and we can't rip this guy's house to pieces to uh, install a new cable. So this is where I come in uh, to offer a hand. So what we're gonna do in this video is show you exactly how we've converted high voltage to low voltage. We use the existing cable. And uh, yeah, look, let's just get into it. Let's just get into it. Okay, so let's get into this. Comes in a basic packaging. So this is the housing for the actual contactor. So this is a contactor inside here. This is where all the magic happens. In total, there is six connections. Stop the video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and press the little bell button for notifications. Otherwise, this thing's gonna get you. I'm giving you five seconds. <laughs> Has it gone yet? <laughs> Just joking. Back to the video. So this is a normally open contactor at the back there. That's a little thing that fastens it onto the housing. So that just pops on there like that. And then like I say, you push the little back bit, into, back bit in to fasten it. Let's get into the wiring. So in terminal A2, we'll go the neutral. And in terminal A1, you'll put the switch live. I'll get into it in a bit more detail. Just notch a little section out. So yeah, terminal A1, so switch live goes into A1 and then A2 just goes a standard neutral. Okay, and then underneath it, you've got the low voltage connection. So you've got a screw at the top there and then the low voltage connection at the bottom. So this will be your loop for your boiler basically. Basically your low voltage section. I'll get into that in a bit more detail in the uh, later on in the video. So I've got these little labels from Amazon just to label up the uh, the cables. It's an easier way of doing it. This is like one that I'm prefabbing, if that makes sense. The one that I'm actually doing on the job, which I'll show you. We've just used basically sleeves on it, but this is quite cheap. I think this is only like five pound. You get loads of different color uh, labels, so you can just write on them. But like I say, you can also sleeve it. See with these bad boys on the actual job. This is what I did. I sleeved it just so we know what's what. But if you see there, so that's the boiler loop at the bottom. And at the top there is the high voltage connection. Do you see? So boiler loop at the bottom will go on the left hand side. And then at the top there is the switch live. Again, like I say, we'll go into it in a bit more detail. And the housing goes on the front, just like that. One cable is for the boiler and one is for the programmer. The switch live and neutral from the programmer or wiring center. All right, so let's actually get into it. So this is it finished. That is what it looked like on the wall. And that's the actual boiler. That's the low voltage connection. So if I show you, so this is in um, the kitchen downstairs. So if we go upstairs, I've got a little head cam on there. But if we go upstairs, I'll just show you. 
So if you'd imagine there's a cable hidden in the wall somewhere, going all the way from upstairs to downstairs. But like I say, it's a four core cable, so it's a bit of an issue, but have a little look at this. Okay, so the issue is the hot water cylinder is up here and the wiring's up here. So we've got a pump up here. Um, they've got two motorized valves up here. So we can't send a low voltage cable up to this wiring center that's here. So at the minute, they've got an existing cable that runs downstairs now and it is high voltage. But realistically, you'd need to run a low voltage cable all the way upstairs to here for it to work correctly. So back downstairs we go. So like I say, it goes all the way from there. Okay, we'll go downstairs somewhere, somehow. In the wall somewhere. And like I say, it's not an option to start ripping up the guy's house. So we found the solution. Instead. And that's the box there that we connected to. All right, so let's actually get into it. So this is the beginning part of the install of it, just clearing the cupboard area. <laughs> Makes you laugh, you come in to do someone's boiler and sort out, <laughs> this, the cupboard's all filled up with stuff, stuff underneath and no one clears it. Because no one cares. <laughs> so as we just pop a little bit of cardboard down. So on this particular boiler, we're taking the front cover off. A couple of screws. And then the company left the switch live in there. So they left a um, yeah, switch live in that area. So a cable coming up. I'm just trying to work out if that is the switch live. So you've got the programmer over here. So I'm just checking it out now. This was Asking the wire. This was the wire. But they control okay, cool. stuff so on what it's got set on at the moment. So how are you I'm just trying to work out and establish, like, say, what that cable is, but I'm guessing. What? That is yeah, yeah. the okay, cool. like I say, the switch live. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the programmer on. Yeah, I need to and, and then, then I'm gonna put my flute testing pen yeah, yeah. on the switch live. So it kicks in. Can you turn that on? Um, I'll get the client again, to do sorry. it now, so he's gonna turn it on. Just yeah, if we can go up with a start again, just with the temperature. My nice kitchen is gone. Yeah, just go to 30. Do you see that? So it's kicked in. So that'll be the switch live going to the boiler. So let's say that's one cable. We can't put that, and you see it's gone off again because he's turned it off. We can't put that into the low, low voltage connection into the boiler. So this is where I've wired this bad boy up. So have a little look. So on the left hand side, you see, so that's the low voltage link there and there, which is underneath. And that was, if you, in fact, you see that was the loop, the actual boiler itself, do you see? So that's the loop there. And we've just replaced that for a two core cable. And then underneath there, that's where all the cables came down. So they left a load of cables. One neutral that goes into A2. And you've got one switch live. That's why I've sleeved it, switch live, goes into A2. So at the minute, it's not live, it's dead. Okay, underneath there, you see, that's my switch live. So they've left me a load of cables. They've left me a load of cables under there. That was my switch live, and that was a neutral. So neutral, switch live, comes through there, goes into there, neutral there, switch live there. And now, what is off at the moment, I'm gonna turn on, turn on the, you see, so that, oh, I'm gonna turn it on, come over to here. So that will come on in a second. You see, it's live. Now the boiler kicked in, because what it's doing in effect is it's going like that, swishing over, bang, that circuit. So that is going there, which then is, switching a magnet on 
which then allows that circuit there, these two, to go around the boiler and complete the circuit around there, complete the circuit. That's what we've got. Okay, so on here, you've got, it's actually labeled, some may be different, but on here it says one, two, three, four. This is for the lower part uh, connections, which are down here. So what you wanna do is put your loop into, let's say one and two, yeah? So one going in and then two coming out. And then again, um, the other side, if you needed another low voltage connection, you could do the same because there's two connections either side there that you can use it with. And then again, your switch live goes into A1 and just a standard neutral goes into A2. But that is pretty much it. So that is how we convert high voltage to low voltage. And then for any more tips and tricks, I've got some more wiring videos. Check out this video up here. So have a little look. And then don't forget to obviously subscribe. And then I'll see you on the next video. Have you subscribed or you click? Come on, you're gonna click on the subscribe button. See you in the next one.